Hello everyone. I'm happy to see you here. We're really looking forward to getting back to classes at the fort. But until then, I'd like you to bring I'd like to bring you this short class for yoga today. So you can start with your feet a little wide. If you don't have a mat, you can just bring a blanket to the floor or come onto some carpeting. If you have a block, you can have a block nearby. We won't really be using it too much today, but if you just need a little more space for yourself, you can use a block or a book. So like I said, just bring your feet a little bit wider than your hips and let your knees be nice and soft. We're gonna start with some huge deep breaths, cleansing breaths. As we inhale, we're gonna fill the lungs as much as we can. Huge inhale as the arms sweep up overhead. Reach all the way up through your fingers. And as you're here, engage those core muscles and pull up the spine, lifting through the top of the head. As we exhale, we'll take those hands right down the center. Complete exhale. Press all that air back out. Again, cleaning out those lungs. One more time. Huge inhale, lift up reaching all the way up through the fingers, pulling up the spine, creating space, lifting through the top of the head. And as we exhale, right down the center line, complete exhale, press everything out. This time, as we inhale, arms up over the shoulders, we're going to drop the arms down and pull the elbows back, let the palms face forward. As you pull those elbows back, let the chest open, squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you, letting those knees be nice and soft. We're going to open all the way to the left. As we open to the left, the right heel lifts off the floor. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, pull back through that right arm. The left heel lifts off the floor. Reach back through the right thigh. And bring it back to center. Huge inhale, lift up through the arms. Let your knees be nice and soft. We're going to pull forward through the spine, reaching forward through the fingers, forward through the top of the head, and then slowly just let the spine relax forward. Those knees are soft, knees are bent. Relax the neck, let your head be heavy. And now here's where you may need a little more space. If you need a block or a book, you can bring a book right under that right hand. We're going to inhale, open up through the front of the shoulder. Let that left hand drift back. So if your fingers touch the floor, you don't need a block, but you wanna be nice and supported in your stretch. So bring something under that bottom hand if you need to. And now slowly we'll switch sides. Let the left hand come center. Nice full inhale. Open up through the front of that right shoulder. And exhale, release. Soften those knees, last little stretch. Relax the spine. Just let the back release forward. You can kind of sweep side to side, relaxing the neck and just opening through the back. We'll bring it to center. And with the next inhale, sweep those arms up. Inhale up nice and slow. As we exhale, bring the hands down the center line. And we'll release the arms. Go ahead and give everything a good shake out. You can continue facing me, obviously, and I am going to turn to the side. You can bring your block nearby. And we're going to start all the way at the back of your mat or towards the back of the carpet so that there's carpet in front of you. We're going to bring those feet right under the hips and get nice and grounded into the legs. As we inhale, reaching up. Really pull those core muscles in, lifting up through the top of the head, lifting up through the spine. As we exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Let the upper body just release over your nice, strong legs, relax your neck. Engage those core muscles, pull up into the spine, and 
we're going to walk our hands forward into a nice strong plank. As we walk our arms forward, we're going to bring the hands just a tiny bit wider than the shoulders. Your back nice and flat, those core muscles pulled up into your spine. Now, if you want a little more of an active practice today, if you'd like to, you can come in for a few push-ups. If that's too much, you can always bring your left knee down for this first side, and we'll just take some push-ups to open up through the chest. One more. And now we're going to lift back up into our nice high plank, pull those core muscles up. When you're ready, we're going to lift up through the right leg and pull that right knee all the way into the chest. Bring the right knee down and we're going to rotate the right foot to the right. Bring the right hand under your shoulder. Everything's nice and in line. As we inhale, lift up through that left arm. We'll take a quick stretch overhead, opening the left side of the body. And now take the arm back up over the shoulder and let that left arm drift behind you, opening through the front of the shoulder and the chest again. We'll take a full inhale here. As we exhale, bring it around nice and slow. Take that right foot, turn it behind you, coming back up into that nice strong plank. We're going to take the elbows, keep the elbows in close to the body and slowly lower down. Walk the legs back and away from you. Bring those elbows down right next to the rib cage. Pull forward through the head. Engage those legs, nice strong legs, and we're going to reach up and away from the lower back. So extending and creating space. We'll turn our head all the way to the left. Back to center, reach up and all the way to the right. Back to center. Slowly lowering forward, come up over your hands, nice and slow. We're going to press up over those knees. Let the knees be a little wider than your hips. Reaching back through the tailbone, pull forward through the hands. We'll take a quick stretch here. Relax the head forward. Slowly come back up over the hands and knees. Bring those knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders. We'll take a quick stretch on each side. Take the right hand, sweep it all the way across to the left side of the mat, at least a foot in front of that left hand, and pull back through the hips. Relax your head down to that left arm. And we'll switch sides. Press into that left arm. Right hand under the shoulder, left arm sweeps forward, reach back through the hips, relax the head down. And press into the right hand, bring the left hand back under. Let those elbows be nice and soft and your fingers spread. Coming up over the toes, we're going to keep the knees bent at first, and we're going to pull the bottom of the tailbone all the way up towards the ceiling as we relax our head. Let the head be heavy. So just keeping your knees soft. We'll gently tread the heels now. So we'll leave that left knee bent and reach down through the right heel. And now switch sides, bend the right knee, Press down through the left heel. Release both knees. Last little stretch. Let's reach all the way up through the bottom of the tailbone. Relax the neck. Let the head be heavy. And if you're ready, you can extend both legs. If not, keep the knees soft.
Now, this is called downward dog. We're just going to do a little walking downward dog. As we inhale, we're going to inhale, lift the right leg. Just take a gentle stretch. Okay, the leg does not have to come that high. Just so you feel a gentle stretch through the back of the left leg. And we'll bring the right foot halfway to the hands. Ground into the right foot and we'll stretch up through the left leg. And now step that left foot through the hands, right foot through, relax the knees, knees nice and soft, relax the arms, relax the neck. Lift the next inhale, super slow. Huge inhale, lifting all the way up. As we exhale, let the hands come down the center. And we'll walk to the back of the mat, getting ready to come on to the other side. So one more time. Nice full inhale. As we exhale, release the knees, forward fold. Let the back relax over the legs. You can gently give a little shake. Let the neck relax. When you're ready, we'll inhale forward into that nice strong plank. Pulling forward through the head, back through the hips, and up into the spine. Support your back here. You can stay right here where you are and strengthen. You can come in for push-ups from plank, or if last time you let that left knee down, go ahead and let the right knee come down this time. We'll come in for three push-ups, opening up through the chest. Nice, long line with the body and lifting back up into plank. We'll hold it here. When you're ready, extend back through the left leg, pull the left knee all the way up into the chest, and we'll place that left knee down under the hip. Rotate the left foot to the left. That left hand's coming in under the shoulder. We'll reach up through the right arm, huge inhale. And now we'll stretch overhead, opening that whole right thigh. And slowly take the arm back up. Let the fingers drift back. Open the chest. Open the front of the arm. One more huge inhale here. As we exhale, slowly bring it back around. Rotate that left foot behind you. Hands under the shoulder. Lifting up into that last plank for today. To make it a nice strong plank, pull those core muscles in tight to support you. And now super slow, we're going to lower down to the mat. Walk the legs away from you. Bring those elbows in next to the rib cage. Take your time, pull forward through the spine, creating space. And nice and slow, lift up through the top of the head. We'll turn the head all the way to the left. Back to center. Reach up all the way to the right. Back to center, lift up, shoulders back, chest open. And slowly we'll release forward. Bring those hands under the shoulders. We'll press up over the knees, walking those knees a little bit wider than the hips. Coming forward with the hands, stretch back through the tailbone, relax the head and neck. Gently bring it up over the hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. 
We'll take that big stretch on each side. This time let's reach all the way up through the fingers, sweeping up and over that right hand, coming down to the left side. Drop a little bit of weight into that arm and pull back through your hips. Really let that stretch sink through your whole side. And we'll switch to the other side. Right hand under the shoulder, huge circle with that left arm pulling up towards the ceiling, and then crossing over to the right side. Drop a little bit of weight into that left arm, and release down into that stretch. Pull back through your hips. And press into the right hand, lift back up. Fingers spread, elbows soft, come up over the toes. Take your time here. Keep those knees bent. Relax the neck, relax the head. This time we'll start with the right knee. So the right knee is going to stay bent. The left leg is going to extend, reach down through the heel. And we'll switch sides. Bend that left knee, reach down through the right heel. Right leg extends. Bend both knees, take that tailbone, bottom of the tailbone lifts towards the ceiling. If you're ready, extend both legs, check in with your neck. Your neck is relaxed, head is heavy. Deep breath here. Relax the spine towards the legs. When you're ready, pull up into your core muscles. We're going to be walking forward as we inhale, lifting up through the left leg. Only stretch as far as it feels good. As we exhale, bring that left foot halfway to the hands. Ground into that left foot. Inhale, lift through the right. And bring the right foot through the hands. Step that left foot forward. We're going to cross the arms here and just bend the knees. Gently let the upper body just rock side to side, opening through the back of the body. Releasing the hands, we're going to bring the fingertips down and we're going to angle our toes out towards the corners of the mat or the corners of the carpet. And take your time bringing the hips down the center. If you can't come all the way down, that's okay. Just come to wherever it's comfortable. We're just going to sink into the hips a little bit. Take a deep breath here. Feel nice and balanced. You can bring your hands up and bring your hands together and press those knees open a little further. Otherwise, if you need more balance, just keep the hands on the floor and just keep sinking down into your hips. One more inhale, reaching up through the top of the head. And we'll go ahead and take a seat on the mat. We'll bring the soles to the feet together. Let the knees fall out to the sides. From here, pulling in those core muscles and really lifting up the spine, creating space, reaching up through the top of the head as you relax those legs down towards the floor. We'll take a nice cleansing breath, huge inhale. Complete exhale. With your last inhale here in this stretch, if you'd like to bring it a little further on that inhale, just hinging from the hips so the back stays lifted, creating that space in your spine and just hinging from the hips. Slowly we'll release that stretch. We'll draw the knees together. 
will extend the left leg away from us and the right foot is going to come to the outside of the left leg. We're going to reach up nice and tall up the top of the spine again, creating space. The left arm will cross in front of the right knee and the right hand comes just behind the back onto the mat, lifting you taller and then opening to the right. So let that right shoulder pull back, look over the right shoulder. One more inhale here into that twist. And as we exhale, releasing slowly to center, we'll switch sides. Let's extend that right leg. The left foot comes to the outside of the right leg. Pull up nice and tall through the top of the head. The right arm crosses in front. The left arm behind you. Place that left hand down on the mat. Reach up and we'll open to the left. One more inhale, creating space in that stretch. And as we exhale, releasing to center. Go ahead and release that left leg. We're going to come down to the mat for the last few stretches. So we're gonna start by bringing the elbows just under the body. So squeezing those shoulder blades together, the elbows down to the sides. And just for an inhale, we're going to reach up through the chest, opening the chest, open the throat, lift the chin. And as we exhale, lift the head and slowly walk those arms down to the sides. We'll come all the way down onto the mat and we're going to pull the right knee into the chest. As we pull that right knee into the chest, really lengthen that left leg away from you and we're going to flex the ankles so that the toes are facing the ceiling. Take a deep breath here. Now, if this is a good stretch for you, you can stay right here where you are. Otherwise, we're going to take that right foot up over the knee so that the ankle and the knee are in line and just gently pull the knee towards the chest. Slowly release the right leg. We're going to take the left hand to the right knee, extend the right arm out to the right, and that left knee is going to cross over the chest as the right shoulder presses down into the mat and we look back over the right side. Now, if this is a good stretch, stay right there where you are. If you'd like, with your breath, we can inhale, extend that right leg, exhale, pull it back in. Keep looking to the right, inhale, extend, exhale, pull it back in. Last one, stretch all the way out, reaching through the toes, and exhale, we'll switch sides. So hug that right knee down one more time, hug it into the chest. And now we'll extend out through that right leg, bring the left knee up, hug it down. Relax the shoulders back. Keep the neck long, lifted through the top of the head. Deep breath. Now you can stay here where you are, or if you'd like, we'll bring that left foot up, the ankle over the knee, and just gently pull the knee down towards the chest. Opening through the hips here. And releasing that stretch, we'll take the right hand to the left knee, extend that left arm to the left, Pull the knee across the chest and hold it here for a breath. That left side reaching out, the shoulder glued into the mat and your head to the left. You can stay right here and just relax down into that stretch or releasing the right arm. We'll inhale, reach up through the left leg and exhale, pull it back towards you. Inhale, extending out. Exhale, pull it 
pull it back in. Last one, nice full inhale, stretch out through the toes. And gently pull it back in, hug that knee down into the chest. And now we'll go ahead and pull the right knee up as well. Hug both knees down, gently rock side to side on the spine, releasing any tension in the back. You can stay with that movement or if you'd like, loosening up the lower back, we'll take a few circles with the knees. And circling the opposite direction. Now, whichever is more comfortable for you, you can roll onto your side and press up with your arms. Or if you feel comfortable rolling on the spine, you can go ahead and roll to a seated position. Lifting up through the top of the head, bring your legs so that you're comfortable for this last minute together. So if you like, you can extend one leg or you can just give yourself a little more space with the legs crossed. However you're comfortable, you just come here to center, reach out through the arms, pulling down through the hands, lift it through the spine. We're going to turn the head all the way to the left and really reach down through that right arm. Let the fingertips touch the floor, stretch up and over through that right thigh, and bring it back to center. Reach down through the right hand, turn the head all the way to the right, pull away with the left, And up and over, nice full inhale with that left arm. And bring it back to center. Taking the hands lightly to the knees, we're going to pull the shoulder blades around away from the spine. So we're rounding out the shoulders. We're going to tuck the chin to the chest, just opening through the back. Take a breath here. And now lifting up through the top of the head, we'll interlace the hands behind the back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice full inhale, lift up through the center of the chest, lift up through the chin. And full exhale, come back to center. Nice full inhale, reaching up through the arms. Lifting up through the fingers, lift up through the spine. As we exhale, we'll bring the arms down to the sides, palms facing forward, pressing back through the shoulders, open the chest, press back through the palms and elbows. And one more inhale, sweeping up through the arms. Last little stretch here. We're going to pull in those core muscles and take your time rolling up the spine lengthening all the way up through the top of the head. Stay there with your spine light and lifted. And as we exhale, we'll bring the hands down the center line, relaxing those shoulders down and back. Now, if you have a moment, stay here, keep breathing. Nice full inhales, complete exhales. Staying as long as you like. Thank you for being here today. We truly hope to see you very soon. Wishing you and your family the best and lots of health. Thank you.